In Pasig City in Metro Manila, sustainable transportation and urban development, the adoption of clean technologies, and the development of infrastructure and community space that supports cycling and walking are priorities of the city government. Like many cities in Metro Manila, it struggles with increasing traffic congestion and deteriorating air quality. But unlike other cities, it is one of the few local governments in the Philippines to have a dedicated city transportation and development management office to handle transport-related concerns. And it is playing an integral role in a new UN Environment Program project being launched by the Pasig City Government and the Philippine Postal Corporation, or PhilPost. The electric two- and three-wheelers pilot demonstration in Pasig, Philippines project being implemented by Clean Air Asia is focused on integrating zero-emission electric two- and three-wheeler delivery vehicles donated by the Tail G Limited into PhilPost fleet operations in Pasig City for an initial period of six months. We think that the electric two- and three-wheelers pilot demonstration project can be of great help not just to Pasig City and Pasigenos, but also everyone that's serviced by PhilPost Pasig. We think that the project will not only improve PhilPost services, but can also fight urban air and noise pollution, reduce congestion, and ultimately make a big step in combating the climate crisis. Letter carriers or carteros have a hard job, and it's good for everyone if we can find ways to make their important work easier to do. With the electric two- and three-wheelers pilot demonstration in Pasig, not only will carteros benefit from purpose-built vehicles, but the communities they work in will benefit from improved safety, reduced noise, and less pollution. We want Pasigenos to become more familiar with electric vehicles and consider these for both personal and business mobility. The pilot project is building on Pasig City's existing e-mobility and low-carbon transport initiatives, including charging stations, dedicated bicycle lanes, and a city-wide bicycle sharing system. However, the scope of the operation and its geographical reach required additional planning and infrastructure considerations, including the provision of extra vehicle charging stations, route planning and modification, delivery vehicle classification, and consultations with national transportation and urban planning officials. Pasig City is really here to support fill posts and support all forms of electric and non-motorized mobility in our city. For this project, we will support PhilPost by constructing infrastructure for bikes and other forms of non-motorized mobility, which will be used by the carteros using these vehicles. Also, we're planning to uh, find locations for charging stations, parking facilities, and other supporting infrastructure for two- and three-wheeled non-motorized vehicles. In the last 10 years, we had to go through uh, having to show numerous examples to try to establish the use of electric vehicles in public transport. And this project is precisely what we need more of. We need to have more small, big, medium projects that would start to convince people that you can use electric vehicles in your day-to-day -day use. We, we have this issue about whether or not electric vehicles are profitable, uh, whether or not electric vehicles are viable financially, whether or not electric vehicles are a technology that you can depend on, uh, whether or not you have the proper range. And it's only through projects like this that we would be able to convince everyone that electric vehicles are the future of public transportation. The phasing in of electric vehicles has many benefits for society, the environment, and the economy. Emissions-free vehicles mean less air pollution and better air quality. Better air quality means better public health. This is particularly important given that air pollution is among the top causes of death and disability in the Philippines, claiming tens of thousands of lives each year. Fewer emissions also mean a better global climate outlook, and economically, cleaner vehicles and improved air quality reduce the cost associated with healthcare, environmental rehabilitation, and overall business operating costs, particularly for fuel and fleet maintenance. For Pasig City, the pilot project is an opportunity to push forward with sustainable, low-emissions development and to chart a better future for the community. Our city and our planet faces triple crises of climate change, air pollution, and urban congestion. It's time we choose clean, sustainable transportation to make sure everyone has a bright future.
the broader adoption of electric mobility is something other cities in Metro Manila can also achieve. The experiences of both Pasig City and Philpost in developing and rolling out the pilot project provide a roadmap that other local government units can use to integrate e-vehicles into their transport and urban planning. As part of Pasig City's vision to become a true sustainable mobility city, we want to encourage people to take on non-motorized transportation and move away from using fossil fuels for everyday transport needs. We think that if people can get used to seeing their mail come by electric vehicles, then maybe make them turn to electric vehicles and other forms of low-carbon transportation for their everyday use. Pasig City is one of the Philippine cities leading by example. Electric mobility and low emissions urban development are the future. And with this project, the city is continuing to show that it can be done.